Hello YouTube family, welcome to my channel. This is Darlene. Oops, sorry, I was sitting down and got my knee caught there. Made a racket. I'll be doing your reading for you in just a minute, and I'm going to have to make this kind of short. I hate to rush, but I do. Um, so I'm going to just talk to you a minute about who I've got coming through. Wait one second, I'm listening to my cards. Yes, I'll shuffle. But first, I gotta get my little business out of the way. Y'all know how this goes. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and clicking on my video. I appreciate each and every one of you. If you like this kind of content, I'd be so grateful if you subscribed because I'm just getting started here on YouTube. And that really does matter. Okay, we got some cards out already. And um, hit that like button because that tells YouTube, hey, this content is interesting. We'll show it to more people. And more importantly, good gracious, these cards are jumping. Um, more importantly, that message, that means that uh, the algorithm recognizes, you know, gee, this is interesting. Let's show it to somebody else. And then they uh, will show it to the family that this is meant for. Goodness, this message. Okay. I am so excited to see these cards. I was going to put them face down, but apparently, anything else? That's not what... Uh, Spirit wants today. So, all right, enough about business. Let's get into this message. I have a, a gentleman coming through. He is, I'm going to say, um, I want to say young. Well, you know, when you're old like me, everything's, everyone's younger. He is, I'm going to say young 30s, 30 to 35-ish, African-American. And he's showing me uh, his motorcycle. Now, if you guys don't, which way does that want to go? That way? Okay. Don't know if you haven't seen my videos before. Um, people that have crossed over don't always talk to me about how they died. If they think it's important to the story, they tell me. If they don't, they are more, um, they, they want you to focus on how they live, not how they died. That's, oh, and, and the message that they want me to bring through. Because they know they don't have an hour to talk to you here. And <laughs> I guess. Anyway. So, this young man, however, is showing me how he died. He was on a motorcycle. And he is very detailed about how he... I can't get... The, these cards are stuck. When, when energy speaks to me, it, you know, it's says shuffle or whatever this just feels like glue right now it's so interesting that was a total sidebar but anyway <sighs> he's showing me the motorcycle flipped on its side and spun around and then hit a tree and when he collided with the tree it actually the way that it spun around his head hit the tree versus the motorcycle actually hitting first his head hit first um, so I don't know. I think there, perhaps there was a question about what caused the accident. And that's why he's showing this to me. It, and the, it, I'm not still certain what caused it. Although I think the important message here he wants to get across is there was some discussion apparently about, well, was there another car? Did somebody run him off the road? And he's saying, no, that's not what happened. He lost his balance. I think there might, truthfully, I'm seeing like an animal run across the road, like a squirrel or something, and he just lightly swerved to miss it or looked up when he was looking down and looked up and startled, and it just somehow, it was just a fluke, to be honest. It was just one of those freak things, uh, and it lost balance, but it tipped it just enough that the, the motorcycle went, or rather past that tipping point where it started to spin on its side and he could no longer control it at that point, of course. So if you're listening to this and this is someone that you know or you know of an incident like that, he's making the point to tell you that he was alone, that nobody ran him off the road, that wasn't what happened at all. Apparently, some, but there was discussion about that. Now, he's um, showing me his... He, he's also telling me that he was on his way to visit his grandmother. 
there was something that he had promised that he was going to do for her, help her with some kind of a chore or something she needed help with, you know, something like hanging a picture on a wall or something that she needed his help. And she was, he was on her way. He was on the way to see her. I cannot talk today, goodness. And he felt bad that he didn't make it to go see her. He loved his grandmama, and they were they were close apparently. And she was, you know, of course as grandmas do, making some food for him and you know something he loved. And um, she would do that when he came over. And so he's 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 saying, "I'm sorry, Grandma, I couldn't be there for you. I'm sorry I didn't make it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry." You know, he just feels bad that he's not there. On the one hand, he feels bad that he's not there or that he couldn't be there and that he's, his, he sees that his grandmother was hurting over his death. But he also understands he's gone. It's okay. He's, he's not... Um, well, that's a whole other thing. Let me just stick with this, what he wants me to bring through. He's also asking me, in fact, I believe that Probably this may, in fact, y'all may not know this. I don't look at these cards. I'm looking out the window. I've got a, a nice grassy area out here and this beautiful big oak tree and the kids play on this area out here sometimes. And I just look out the window. I don't even look down at these cards until I'm finished bringing in this initial message. So I don't know if this message is meant for the viewer or whomever. But, so let me just get all this out and then we'll look at the cards. But in the meantime, you get to look at these pretty cards. So he's telling me that this message is primarily today coming through to connect with, and he's being very particular about his words, his foster brother is what he's telling me. Not his brother, not his biological brother, not his adopted brother. He said foster brother. <clears throat> so you will know obviously if this young man was someone that you were in um, a foster home with or maybe his parents fostered you um, something i don't know the specifics of all of that but he's just calling you his foster brother and he was older apparently you really really this that's who this message is meant for the foster brother you really looked up to him he's He's showing me like when you're in school and you're studying and you're going to basketball practice, for example, and you're feeling down, like I'm just not as good as everybody else. I'm not as smart as everybody else. I can't do things as good as everybody else, or I'm not you this, or I'm not that. And he would come and tell you, well, maybe not. That just means you have to try a little harder, but doesn't mean you can't do it. So just keep trying, just keep showing up. That's all you gotta do is just keep showing up. And so I feel like that's, you really relied on him heavily. And I don't even think you realized how, how heavily until he was gone. And he's um, wanting you to know that he's, you know, he's like, he's saying, don't, yeah, I'm glad, I'm glad you missed me, but I need you to be a man now, is actually what he's saying. You're going to have to be the man now, but know that you can. So this whole thing he shared with me is trying to tell you, you can. You can do whatever you put your mind to. And he wants you to hear those words that he used to say to you. And remember that, but let it be something good and positive that motivates you. Um, not something that makes you miss him necessarily, I think is, is what he's trying to say. So now I'm going to look down at the cards and see what this message is about. If this is more about his story or more about your story, that's what I need to determine here. Okay. Um, and for those of you who have not been here before, I don't read these cards in the traditional way necessarily that you would in, say, a love reading or something. They speak to me a little bit differently because of the context of this kind of reading is different. Um, so don't get hung up on that. But anyway, so he is telling me you, um, 
you've had a love situation or this could be happening currently he's sharing is because he wants you to know he sees what's going on he's only gone from the physical but not gone from being able to see what's going on in your life and he wants to acknowledge this and in fact give you encouragement he said just because I'm gone doesn't mean I can't come back here or I'm not seeing what's going on and doesn't mean I can't still encourage you <clears throat> but you had a situation or are having a situation uh, where you met someone that you liked you were um, afraid you weren't good enough for her oh okay all right maybe I think this woman had girl woman I'm not certain how old you are I think you're maybe in your 20s now but this particular woman had uh, came from a good family where um, money wasn't it was struggle let's just say it that way but you on the other hand didn't and you didn't think you were good enough for her you found it difficult to communicate sometimes. You got in your head. You way, way got in your head too much about it. You were overthinking it. <clears throat> and you finally kind of gave up without even really trying, he's telling me, because you didn't really work on it because you didn't think you didn't think you would be her ten of cups, which is, you know, the big love. You didn't think because these cards are in reverse. This is um, prosperity, wealth, you know, everything good in life, happy family, happy home, but it's in reverse. <clears throat> this is, you know, having all the love you'd ever want, family, kids, all that good stuff, also in reverse. You didn't think you were good enough, and so I think you felt like this is the card of the apprentice working on things, putting in the work. It's in reverse. So I think you just kind of got too much in your head, overthinking it, didn't think you were good enough, didn't put in the work, stopped communicating. Or maybe she tried to communicate and you didn't communicate back. Let me see what else is at the bottom. Right, right. There was plenty of passion there. You wanted to, and just so you know, um, yeah, you, reje you rejected this queen is what I'm hearing because, okay, so it's telling me the same story. Every card I pull is telling me the same story, really. <clears throat> there was an impassionate situation. This card is telling me there's passion, uh, but, but I'm hearing she felt passion for you, not just the other way around. She was passionate about you, but when you didn't follow through, you walked away. You didn't think you were good enough. That went cold. Yeah, you pulled yourself back. Uh, you pulled your, your affection back, whatever. Yeah, I mean, I just think you, and that was sort of the end of it, because you thought, well, I'll just go over here and look at all these other cups. There's probably one over here that's... I don't have to work as hard because I bet her expectations are really high and I, I just don't think I could ever measure up over there. So <clears throat> this young man is coming in today to really kind of chastise you a bit for thinking low of yourself, for putting yourself down when he's saying, if I was there, you know I would have, <laughs> he's actually saying I would have kicked your butt and told you that was wrong thinking and to get out there and try you don't know you might be her dream come true she might really be sick of all these rich boys or whatever you might be just what she's looking for something refreshing and authentic <clears throat> i'm just listening if there's anything else um that he wants to say about this or to you he's just saying man i see what you're going through i understand when you come from Let's say the background, the early childhood that you did when it felt like, you know, if you're a foster child, you come from a situation that's usually troubling in, in some form or fashion. There are lots of different ways the story could have played out, that, that story could have played out. But you probably felt unwanted, uncared for, unloved, somehow imprinted with maybe... Oh, I'm not good enough. If I was good enough, my parents would have loved me. If I was 
this or smart enough or this that or that the other enough uh, I wouldn't have been given up for or I wouldn't have my parents wouldn't have abandoned me or wh whatever may have happened I don't know that story but you're imprinted with the that in your subconscious that you're not good enough and then you go and then you start projecting it outwardly to other situations. I'm not good enough in school. I'm not smart enough. I'm not good enough to play sports. I'm not a good enough athlete. I'm not good enough to date a woman who is has more money than I do. <clears throat> so this young man is coming through to he's he's literally telling me, kick his butt, kick his butt. He needs he needs some <laughs> he needs some butt kicking. And I'm saying a little nicer than he might have, but um it's all good uh, you get the message here and so let me see if there's anything else here let me shuffle these now they I can feel they're not sticking anything else he wants to say uh, through the cards anything else you'd like to say through the cards spirit any advice at all or any final message you'd like to convey Ooh. okay yeah <laughs> The King of Cups, when he's in the upright, he has lots of love to give, but he's very selective about giving his cup of love. When he's in the reverse, <clears throat> he either doesn't know how or doesn't want to give it or is holding back or just he's not nearly as nice, let's just say that. And the truth of it is, he's depriving himself. It's not this queen over here, sure, she she might like to be with him but she's got plenty of choices for certain it's you you're depriving yourself of if you don't if you're not willing to give this cup of this king of cups if this is a cup of love if you're not willing to open your heart and and give what you have to give how will you ever know no one will ever you no one will ever see the authentic you people want someone who's authentic so he's just saying be you because he's saying you have a very very big heart it's one of the reasons that uh he felt like he needed to encourage you because he could see that you're sensitive more sensitive than a lot of people but you hide that because you're afraid of getting hurt you're afraid that you won't measure up that you won't be good enough so they're just saying be who you truly are be authentic don't be afraid to open your heart yeah everybody gets hurt we all do but I can't imagine going through life without love. It's just not the way any of us wants to really go through life. Um, really, that's the bottom line. Open up your heart. Be willing to give your cup of love. <laughs> I'm sorry. And he's saying, and I want to see if this card support what I'm feeling there. Um, yeah, he, he, well, before I even look at those cards. He's saying, and go back over and ring this woman's doorbell and show up. Tell, tell her, you know, apologize and, you know, tell her, you know, make her feel good about herself. Say something nice. Find a compliment. Do, do your best. But, but don't be afraid to go approach that young woman again because, you know, this was a missed opportunity. It's not, um, yeah, it seems like you're out in the, you know, the, the, this is a wheel of fortune, good fortune, but... You know it turns in both directions and this is reversed so that means you feel like the wheel is not turning in your favor and it's because <clears throat> excuse me you didn't you know this is the this is a a tangible new offer new opportunity but you didn't give it you held it back that's the truth and they're, so they're saying get your butt up off couch and go out there and talk to this young woman or text her or call her or whatever uh, because you're the one that put yourself out in the cold. You're just sitting here um, feeling like you've been put out in the cold when you're the one that put her out in the cold. You're the one that held back. Yeah, if you do that, there's a good chance, you know, you can come back. You can, you want to go back to, and, and explore that. Okay, I could go on, but that is the essence of that message and why he wanted to come through. He is watching over you. He's still giving you advice, clearly, from the other side. He just wants you to know that you're stronger than, um, more capable. He's correcting me. He's not saying strong. He, he's, yes, you are strong, but he's correcting me and saying you are much more 
capable than you realize. In other words, you have the intelligence, you have the skills, you have everything you need. It's just your confidence that's lacking and you need to get, what does he say? Get over it. He says, get over it. Get over it. That's what he's saying. Um, well, that's, that's it. Is there anything else? You're very welcome. He's just thanking me for bringing the message through. All right, gang. Thank y'all so much for tuning in. If uh, if you know this, if this is not your message, but you think you might know who it belongs to, please pass it on. I'm so grateful. And thank you again for watching. Hit that like button. And uh, also subscribe because I might be bringing through your loved one. You never know. Thank you all so much. I appreciate you. And I'll talk to you again soon. Bye.